I've always ran. I had ran quarter miles and sprints and stuff when I was in school, and I was great. But I had never raced five miles before. So I jumped out of my car at 30 and, did, and ran around Lake Mary and they liked to kill me. You know, and I, that's when I really realized that I wasn't in shape because it was only like a little over two miles. And I decided to do the marathon. But to be like, quite truthful, it was an ego trip. I was going to qualify for Boston on my first marathon. That was my goal. Trained for it. I thought I did all the proper things for it, and I made it to 24 miles. You could not do that last 2.2 miles. It was on the Great Highway, and it was freezing. And I was so cold that I couldn't think. So I actually walked off the Great Highway and hitchhiked a ride home. And I decided, well, the marathon is a stupid thing to do. You know, 26.2 miles, people shouldn't be running that far. And it was cold. And I started making up all these excuses, right, why I didn't finish the marathon. But when I really started thinking about it, I decided, OK. I'm gonna do this. I trained for it for 11 months. At 22 miles, the wall, I didn't hit the wall, the wall fell on me. I, I couldn't go any further. To go back and not even make it to 24 miles, I made it to 22 miles and not being any finished, that was just totally devastating. So that's when I re realized that I've been approaching the marathon the wrong way. It's not physical, it's mental. And that was the part that was missing in all my training. It was like a burden had been lifted off of me. I, I had conquered the marathon and actually enjoyed it. Looking back of where I had came from to where I had finished, it was, it was pretty phenomenal. I said, but you know what? I still want to qualify for Boston. So that 250 became my, my goal. And that's what made me the runner. That, I am today. Some people were born the same. I was born to run. But training other people uh, to do it, people that never did anything physically in their life, that's been a lot more rewarding. I had to train these people to run a 26.2 mile marathon in four months, and it took me you know, three years. You know, I, I love your enthusiasm, though. I like that. But you can't let ego overrule good judgment. Five laps warm up, starting here. Good job, that's three. You only one person. This is a big system. You ain't nobody in this system. To me, you somebody, that's why I'm here. There will be no wimping out, okay? You will do what you need to do. Can you do this? Yeah. yeah! I don't believe you. Can you do this? Yeah! yeah. All right. Uh, I remember uh, hearing this, this saying that you can change one life uh, in, your, in, your, in your short time that you only, then you've had a successful life. So I've changed, I, at least, I know at least one life. So I, I feel successful in that aspect.